Welcome back folks. On the last video I showed you how to draw a bow design on a blank stave. On this video I'm going to show you how to begin cutting out that bow. When you begin cutting your bow out of a stave, the first thing you want to do is cut the sides off. So you're getting rid of this excess wood on either side of your bow that you drew. We are not cutting on the belly of the stave or what would be the belly of the bow yet. There is a lot of excess wood there that will need to come off, but this is not the time to start doing that. So now we're gonna put it in a vise and we're gonna start removing the extra wood. It's very important that you don't forget to put rubber or leather in your vise because this part of the bow is finished. That will be the back of your bow. You've already chased that ring. Protect that at all costs so you don't have to take your bow down to another ring at this point. You want your draw knife to be cutting. You're not wedging, you're not tearing wood. You've gotta be cutting because if it starts tearing like this and you keep going, those tears will run deep into the bow. And it might not even be right here on the back, it might be further in, but they will run into the bow. And if you just go at that too fast, you're gonna end up having to make your bow a lot more narrow. There's an example of it. You can see right there, there's kind of a divot. See that hole there? That was formed when I split the stave out of the log. That's okay when you're splitting the stave out of a log, but when you're reducing the stave width to your bow width, you don't want those going any deeper because you will weaken the bow, you'll have to make your bow even narrower. So at this point, it's crucial that your draw knife is cutting those and not tearing those. So make sure you're being a lot more gentle with these. You're not just ripping stuff off. I'm cutting both sides of that and there's still a little canyon there. That's what I'm talking about. You've got to get that taken out completely. almost down to the edge of where my bow is drawn out and I just now got through that little groove from the grain tear out. And there's still some there and then you can see it comes up this way. As you start to cut out the side of the bow, you want to see shiny smooth wood. If it starts to look rough, like it's tearing out, do something different. You need to scrape it off or sharpen your draw knife. Make sure you're not ripping that wood off. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about taking these knots out. And when you have a stave that came from a smaller diameter tree, knots tend to run towards the center of the stave. And that's because that's where the center of the tree used to be. Before you do any cutting on this side of the stave, I recommend you get that knot out first. As you cut on these knots, it's not going to be easy. You're going to hit really tough spots and that's because the grain will be twisting and you'll be hitting broadside against that grain in places. You guys can see that I can't cut much deeper this way without getting to the edge of where my bow is going to be. And as that knot runs deeper, the way I'm gonna to have to get to that is to turn the stave up like this. And I'm gonna come at it from this angle right here and try to cut it out that way. If you get this grain tearing up like that, don't keep taking that. If you try to take that off, you might run in deep and ruin your bow. Leave it there 
and then you'll have to hit it from the other side to take it off. Sometimes it works pretty good just to take a pocket knife and then you can dig out all that dead pithy stuff in there. Once you start seeing the yellow wood again, uh, you know you're getting to the other side of it. I'm getting pretty close to getting that out of there. Uh, there might be a little bit more back in here in the deeper part of the stave, but from what I can see, I'm going to have plenty of wood to work with here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taking this side down near my line. I think that will help me get in here a little bit easier to finish that knot up. I've cut this bow out on the one side from one end to the other. You can see some of this knot is still left in the stave. It's contained to this bottom side and it's not rotten. That is all just really hard wood and that would be really good in compression uh, but I'm not going to leave it in there because my bow won't be that thick. I mean, chances are my bow limb will only be about this thick at that stage. All of this is going to get cut out anyways. It looks pretty good. The knot down here on this end, I was able to get completely out. And I've got plenty of wood there. This is near the tip. These are going to be really narrow anyways, down towards the end. So we're looking good. Now I'm just going to flip the bow over and trim out the other side. I've got my bow cut out down to the original lines that I drew and I'm now sure that the knots aren't going to be a problem and there's no other flaws in here that I've found, no cracks or splits. So now what I'm going to do is actually narrow these down. I'm going to draw some lines on here down to where I want the final shape to be and I'm also going to add the handle section. And it's not going to be real elaborate like a stiff handled bow, but I am going to narrow the handle section down slightly more than I will the limbs. For the handle section, I'm going to do a 5 inch handle. That's going to be 2.5 inches on either side of that center line. And then you got to draw your fades on here. If you're going to have a narrower handle than the limb, you need to have a fade. I'm going to make my fades about an inch and a half long. So I'm going to take the limb from one and a half inches and then it's going to narrow down to one and a quarter inches on the handle side. So we'll go to the other side and make our marks the exact same way. Then on the handle section, I'm just trying to draw it somewhat straight, just like that. 
I put some marks on this bow every eight inches down the limb. So this is the first eight inch, this is the 16 inches, and then this would be at 24 inches. And I've done this on both limbs. You can see eight inches from the fade down this limb, 16, 24. The reason I did that is so I can measure those widths uh, on each limb to make sure that they are the same. I'm trying to make sure these limbs are balanced. So at the first eight inches, I want this to be an inch and a half wide. At the second eight inches, I'm gonna make it an inch and a quarter wide. And at the last mark, I want it to be down to half an inch or five eighths of an inch. And then I will be able to measure on this side, I'll be able to measure again to make sure this one's an inch and a half, this one's an inch and a quarter, this one is you know half an inch or five eighths of an inch. So now that I've got the marks on there, I can use those as guidelines to finish drawing out the edge of this bow and then I'm gonna get it cut down to size and that will be the final profile of the bow. That's gonna do it for this video. I've got the profile of this bow completely cut out of this stave. And in my next video, I'm going to be reducing the thickness of these limbs. I'm gonna show you guys how to take a bow to floor tailoring stage. So if you'll stick with me, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.